who here doesn't plan to die? Yes, we always have a few. I want your secret to eternal life. My name is Gail Rubin. I am the doyen of death. Check out the pearls. A doyen is a woman who's considered senior in a group who knows a lot about a particular subject, and that would be me when it comes to the party no one wants to plan a funeral or a memorial service. Now, I'm not a mortician. I'm not a grief counselor. I'm a death educator. That's death, not death. <laughs> And I actually come from a background as a public relations professional and a writer and event planner. And I got into this field when I got married for the second time in the year 2000. We had a very creative Jewish Western wedding and I was all jazzed to write a book about creative life cycle events and call it Matchings, Hatchings, and Dispatchings. And I got to do a column in the Albuquerque Tribune by that name, and it was the columns on death and funerals that got the most reader response, which told me there's a real need to be able to have this conversation. But it takes a light touch on a serious subject. And I decided to focus on funerals, and at the time I had not pre-planned a funeral for anybody, so I picked on my father-in-law, who was getting up in years, and went to French's to pre-plan for him, and I was amazed how much information we needed that we did not have. And over dinner one night with my in-laws, my father-in-law was like, sure, I'll get you all that information that you need. My mother-in-law is not wanting to talk about this. She doesn't want to think about it, doesn't want to go there. Well, he actually lived for three more years, and at the age of 82, when he fell, broke his hip, seven weeks of hospitalization, three ER admissions, and we were all there when he died, and it was midnight on a Tuesday. We were exhausted. We went to the funeral home the next day. It was easy. It was quick. We just tweaked a few things we had already set up, and my mother-in-law put it on her credit card. Think of the points, the miles. <laughs> and she even told me, you know, I really didn't like it when you were pre-planning at the time, but now when we needed it, I'm really glad it was done. So that gave me my mission. Just like talking about sex won't make you pregnant, talking about funerals won't make you dead. And your family can reduce stress at a time of grief, minimize family conflict, save money, and create a meaningful, memorable good goodbye. So in a sense, you might call me an undertaker because I have undertaken a number of things. The book I wrote is a good goodbye funeral planning for those who don't plan to die. There's a sample on it on just about every table if you'd like to take a look. I'm offering those at a discount to our NEMAT friends at my bulk rate discount, and I hope you'll consider buying a copy. I also am a speaker, and I use funny films to help attract people to a topic most people would rather avoid. Now kids, don't try this at home. I have a license to use films in my talks. And they have titles like Laughing in the Face of Death, Ashes to Ashes, Dust in Your Face, Doctor, How Long Do I Have, and other funny collections. So, I will come to places and give talks, and it really does help get people starting conversations. I'm also a um, Death Cafe hostess. Death Cafe is a movement that you may be seeing more news about lately. There was just a story on MSN.com and on the New York Times uh, blog this week. It's a movement where people come together at free at gatherings to talk about what's ever on their hearts and their minds about mortality so that we can get the most out of this lifetime. And at the last death cafe that I had, the idea came up, why don't we have a movie night? So uh, in fact, we are doing that at French's on July 11th. We're having a showing of Get Low, which is based on a true story of a man from, who had his funeral while he was still alive. And in fact, the 75th anniversary of that event is coming up on June 26th. I am a certified celebrant, which is somebody who is trained to make funerals and memorial services meaningful and memorable, all about the person who died. 
And I have done a number of funerals where people come up afterward and say, that was the best funeral I've ever been to. So you want people saying that about your final party. Also, to get the conversation started, I have an internet radio program on the Rockstar Radio Network every Wednesday from 4 to 5 live. Very interesting guests. And um, I also have a TV show that's been airing on Comcast channels 26 and 27, and those are being made into a DVD series. And I sponsored today, because I thought I would have them ready by now, but like home renovations, it's taking longer than I thought. So if you um, see this flyer on the table about the TV series, there's an order form on the back. If you would like to buy into it today, I will give you a copy of the book to go along with it as a bonus. I'm also a licensed insurance agent to help people with final expense insurance, to help fund their good goodbyes. And I am a personal trainer for funeral planning. What does that mean? They say you can't pay somebody to do your push-ups for you, but you can hire a personal trainer to make sure you do them. So I am your personal trainer for funeral planning. I will meet with a family, escort them to a funeral home, Find and help be their advocate and advisor about making their selections. And then we go out to lunch afterwards and say, wasn't that fun? But we get it done. We get those plans on file. And coming soon, I'm going to do workshops on cruises, a good goodbye cruise. So if you're interested in any of that, and in my spare time, I'm a yoga and Pilates instructor at the YMCA. Whew. So I hope uh, you will... And I do have copies of my books here. I, there's also another book, a um, little tome called I Died Laughing by Lisa Carlson. She's the founder of the Funeral Consumers Alliance. It's a joke book and a cartoon book, and it's only five bucks if you want to get that. Uh, I have copies of those as well. I am doing a drawing for a copy, uh, a set of the DVDs. And if you didn't drop your card in, I'll bring my little card collector around. I hope you'll encourage NEMAC to have me come and do a funny film talk here at a future meeting. Would love to do that. And with that, live long and prosper.